Hello to all my lively ladies, you're very welcome back. My name is Trish and you're very welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I have for you a 20 minute low impact full body workout. So we are gonna shape and tone at home. Now, come on, let's get going with our warm up. So I'm just bringing my knee across my body here, getting off the spot as much as I can and uh, just bringing in some light arms. So I hope you're feeling good today, ready for another workout. Okay, so the temperatures are up quite high here. It's quite humid. So I actually like that when I'm working out. I know your heart has to work a little bit harder with humidity, but um, I like that sweat that flows out of your joints feel really good. Your muscles move a little bit easier. Okay, good. So let's make the most of it. That's it. Okay, give me 10 more here. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one now just step across step side to side that's it bring your arms in now up to shoulder height now we're working for intervals of 15 rest or transition and 45 to work with each move we have 20 moves okay so all different lots of variety in your workout today okay so enjoy it have fun that's it good and 10 more nine eight, seven, six, five, four. Let's do some calf raises now to warm up that lower half of the body. Two and one. So up and down, up. So what you're doing here is you're coming up on your toes, a little squat up on your toes. That's it, good. Get all those creaks out of the body. Keep your back straight. Now pull your core in, your belly button in, I should say and bring your belly button to your spine. You should feel a little bit of tension going around the middle there, your waistband. So you know you're actually engaging that transversus abdominis, which is your deep abdominal muscle that holds all the organs in place and keeps your back and your spine healthy. Not a hard muscle to work, believe it or not. The superficial muscles, we, we tend to crunch out and crunch out on the floor, but the underlying muscle there, your transversus abdominis, just gently bringing your belly button towards your spine engages that muscle, okay? That's it, and keeps it strong and toned for us. Two more here, up, and last one, okay? Let's do some rainbow legs. Let's open up those hips and get our bodies alive and ready for this class today. We're gonna to start off with some ski squats but today I'm gonna to do nice big ski squats. Usually we keep the arms small, but today I'm going to introduce bigger arms. Now, if you can't do the bigger arms, you just don't have that shoulder flexibility, just stay with the small arms. I'll show you both. That's it, good. And four, three, two, and one. Let's go out to, into a little lunge, little mini lunges. Nothing too intense now, just waking up those inner thighs. Step out, center, out, good, that's it, and out, and out, good work. And two more, now let's circle the arms, bring the legs back together, and circle, and circle, good. That's it, nice big arm drives. Now shoulder press, you can bring your legs back into step touch, that's it, or side stepping. Now I'm warming up those shoulders. Good work, you're doing a great job now, nearly there, just coming up to the end of the warm up. I'll press timer now, you've got 15 seconds to get into position, okay? I want you to just keep marching your legs out. First move, big ski squat, so you know your squat, bringing those hips back behind you pressing the weight into your feet, particularly your heels. And this is our large, big ski squat. It's gonna get your heart rate up, particularly in the warm weather, if it's warm where you are. And if you can't do that, you can just stick with the little ones, these ones that we normally do, okay? That's exercise one. I'll talk you through the rest as we get there. Right, now, here we go. Everything's in place. Keep marching it out. Okay, get ready for big arms if you can. Okay, now watch your squatting technique. That's it. Give your back straight. 
That's it. You don't want to be rounding your spine like this. You shouldn't see the floor. That's it. Good. Down. Sit down and reach right up. You feel your heart rate coming up now? Yes, most definitely. You can open your legs about shoulder distance apart if you feel it's a little bit more comfortable. Whew. Now don't lean back as you reach up. Abs in tight, okay? Contract your tummy muscles. Good. Now I'll show you the next move in our rest period. Okay, good work. So we're going to just step forward or you can lunge forward depending on your flexibility and your balance. So just step forward if you can, if you can only do that. You keep marching, I keep the heart rate up for me. Okay, that's it. Come on in now when you're ready. Now we, I'm gonna push hands away, push away, push away. Now if you can go into a lunge, go ahead. So you're bending your knees deeply there. It. you don't have to bring your knee all the way to the floor you keep your upper body straight okay so your trunk your torso stays upright now I want you to push something heavy away push come on work those chest muscles up as you push forward and work your back muscles as you push back if you work on some shoulders as well that's it good and keep going now we're going to step back now. The next move is opposite to stepping forward. We're just going to step back, okay? And I'm going to do some back rows today. More back work. So come on in when you're ready, okay? So this is a modified lunge. Keeping my heel up, you notice the heel is not being forced into the floor. That's it, just watching your Achilles tendon. Now, very gently draw your shoulder blades together behind you. You can speed this up if you want to get a little bit more cardio if your fitness allows. Good. You can even add a little hop here if you want to. Quick exchange of the feet, whatever you prefer. Good. Now keep your back straight. Don't start rounding at the spine. Good. Keep upright. Look forward. Find a fixed point and stare at it. That's it. Good. Good work. Well done to you. Okay, now you march it out. Next move, we're stepping forward with the right and then the left will follow. Right and left. And then if you can, if the coordination's not too much, you can start punching out arms. Okay? So it's going to be right, left, left, right. Okay? So right foot, left foot, and then just reverse it. Okay? Right, left, then left and right. Okay, now I'm going to bring in some arms. But again, like I say, if you're finding those arms too tricky, just keep the legs going. That's it, good. And you can even get off the spot with this if you feel like you have the coordination down. That's it, good. If you find the coordination's too tricky, just stay on the spot. Learn the move first. That's it, good. Got the other leg to do after this one. That's it, punch, punch down. Punch out, punch down. Good work. Right, now, other side. So, left leg will be leading. Left, right, and so on. Okay, a few seconds and we'll start. There we go. That's it. I'm getting my feet down first. So, left, right, and reverse it. Left, right, good. So, left, right, right, left, that's it. Punch it out. Good work. Abs are in tight. You're engaging your tummy muscles. Can you feel that tension in around your waistline? Good. Punch it out. Punch and punch. Up higher. Higher you go. More heart rate will come up for you. Good. Keep going. Come on. What have we left? A couple of seconds. Just there now. That's it, you made it. Well done. Now you've got side step for two, one, two, and forward for two. And I'm just bringing in the arms that match the legs. And you can join in with me right now if you want a longer work time. That's it. One, two, one, 
two, so out to the side, push to the front, that's it, good, more chest and shoulder here, good, and out to the front, side, side, punch and punch, and if you feel like you're really getting into it now, you bend your knees slightly, bring more quads into it, more thigh muscle, more glutes, or you can come upright and go faster, or you could try even both together. That's it, good. Keep breathing for me though, don't forget to breathe. Squat chops coming next, funny name. I'll show you now, out into a squatting position, hands in prayer, chop the air, chop to the right or the left, it doesn't matter which side you start on. Okay, come in with me now if you want to, or take that rest. Oh, good. Keep your chest upright for me now. So straight back. One, two, straight back, that's it. One and two again. If you don't have the shoulder flexibility up the here is fine. Bring it down front of your chest, okay? One, two. Now the tricky thing here is with hands coming to the side is your knees tend to cave in, but do your best not to do that. Middle, right, middle, I like to center up, good, middle, over, middle, and other side, middle, and over, good work, okay, that was a good one, liked that one, now we've got some wide step touches, so step touch, and it's just a wide move, you're going to really feel your inner thighs stretching and working hard here, okay, let's go, Good. And reach, and reach, and reach. That's it. Reach up. You bring two arms into it if you like. Bend your knees a little bit more and sweep across the room. <coughs> then get off the spot if you have space. Good work. That's it. So this move is very big. So it's going to increase your heart rate and your breathing rate. It's working those huge, big muscles in your lower half. We've got a side lunge and knee raise coming next. Now you can make it harder by adding a shoulder press if you want to, but that's completely optional. I'll show you the move. Side lunge and knee raise. Okay, side lunge, stay on one side, knee raise. And there's your shoulder press. All right. Over we go. Shoulder press is very optional because this really does make your balance very tricky for you. Reach up. Good. Reach up. Now we warmed up those inner thighs in our warm up. So you might get a little bit more range of movement now in the workout. Good. Down, back, reach up. If you find the shoulder press is throwing your balance too much, even the knee raise, just leave it out and just do side lunge. That's it. You might get a couple more in. Great full body move here if you can get that knee raise and that shoulder involved. One more. And reach up. Okay. Now the other side to do now, okay? So we're balancing out the body. Okay, how do you feel with that one? Feeling a little bit stretchy in the heat? Yeah, it's great. Okay, over we go. Reach up, that's it. And again, that shoulder press is optional. Even that knee raise if it's throwing you off a little bit. Good, over and reach. Over and reach. Down, it's amazing if you include the work, the war the exercises that you're going to do in your workout into your warm-up you find your workout flows better good reach up regain that balance if you're losing it over drop down and over okay good work now what'll be next we have some sidewalks or you can shuffle and then we're going to tap out our leg for eight. We're going to go over again, back to over, and do another eight on that leg, okay? All right, so you can sidewalk it, 
or shuffle. One, two. You can just touch your inside of your lower leg if the uh, uh, heel is too much for you. Five, six, seven, eight. Now walk it over or shuffle. Back you go. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to just take it into a little shuffle and shuffle back. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shuffle. Okay, well done. Now we've got the other side to do. Give yourself a little bit of room here. Just transition by a little march. Keep that heart rate up for me. Let's go in three, two, and go. Okay. And one. Other leg now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. Either sidewalk or shuffle. One, two, three, four, five. Press that heel in. Six, seven, Eight. So press the heel of the standing leg right into the ground or you're going to fall forward. That's it. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, those hips are working hard. Seven, eight. Over we go. And back. Just get a couple in. One, two. Good work. Okay. Now, you've got some split squats coming next or stationary lunges. Don't be afraid if you hear those words. You could just do little mini ones. You can hold on to a sturdy piece of furniture or the wall. Okay, join in when you're ready. Now for anyone that has good flexibility or full range of movement, you can take your knee to the floor and you can really feel a good stretch in the hip there at the front. Now I'm gonna add in some arms here. So I'm gonna punch the ceiling up and down. That's it. And kind of making a cardio versus strength here. That's it, good. I hope you've double tied your shoes, your running shoes if you're wearing shoes, footwear, because I always lose my, my runner here, sneaker. If I don't tighten them enough, that back one, that back runner's falling off. Good, keep going, come on. Woo. Losing the balance. Okay, another one for the balance. You can see we actually do a lot for the balance here already. Okay, let's get ready now. Find your balance first. It's good. The 15 seconds is really helping me to find that balance rather than dashing straight into it. Okay, up and down. Now I'm going to just get my balance before I commit to those arms. Ooh, I always feel like my toes are crooked. They should be ideally facing the front. Well, let's get some arms in. That's it, reaching up. I feel much more balanced on this side. Much more. Good. This is move 14. Six to go. That's it, keep going, come on. Last 10 seconds. Punch that ceiling for me. You can go a little faster if you want to, but if it throws your balance, slow it right down, leave out the arms. Oh, Ooh, you're feeling that leg. Oh, goodness me. Shake it out. Now we have a suitcase squat into overhead press. So all that means is you're gonna sit into your squat, reach up over your head. So sit your bum back behind you. And I really want you to exaggerate your bum going back behind you. Now look how straight you have to keep your back. Okay, straight spine. So if I was to put a broomstick on your back, it would be straight. Okay, you wouldn't be it actually wouldn't go into like a horizontal position. It should actually be going kind of at a slant, okay? That's a straight spine. Good, reach up, bum back, press the weight into your heels so you don't fall forward. That's it. This is a great one with a pair of dumbbells. Really love this exercise with dumbbells. It's very metabolic, it really gets the heart rate up, burns lots of calories, okay? Now we have some step back, so more modified lunges. Modified lunges again. And join in with me if you're ready. I'm gonna punch, punch, punch. Another good one if you have some light weights. Again, the back has to stay straight here now, okay? Punch, 
punch and punch. That's it. Come on, you can do it. You're doing a great job. Hoop. Why don't you don't kick your furniture? Good. Punch and punch. Watch out for obstacles around you. Keep your exercise space as clear as you can. And punch and punch. Come on. Give me some good punches there with those arms. Nearly there. Okay, now we have some shuffles. Okay, across the room, join in or off you go if you want that full minute. Now for anyone who doesn't want to add that hop, for you, it's sidestepping and back again. Okay, now I just absolutely love this move with the hop. I can't help myself. <laughs> okay, gets those endorphins flowing through the body. That's it, over and over. Come on, get those arms right up to the ceiling. That's it, right up. Good. And over we go. And reach right up. Good work. Come on, stay with it. If you have done these little jumps here and you're feeling a little bit fatigued, just stay with the move, but walk it across. We are just there now. You've only 10 seconds. Good. Come on, reach over. Watch your back now. Okay, you did really well there. Well done. Now we've got a squat. We're going to X our arms and we're going to squat, push back. Okay, squat and push back. That's it. Start away there. Work away. There you go. That's it. Sit back and push back. Now you're feeling those triceps there as though you push those arms back. You've got to imagine you're pushing back some water in the water, in the swimming pool. You know what that feeling is like when you're trying to push water? It's heavy. Yeah, there's resistance there. That's it. Or you can put some dumbbells in your hand and use that as resistance. Push back. Keep your back straight. Now, do you see my spine is straight? Good. You can go a little deeper with your squat if you want to. As long as you can keep your back straight, look forward. Sit your hips back behind you. Press your weight into your heels. Just there now. Okay. Good work. Now, two moves left. What have we got? Low jack squats. Oh yeah, it's this guy. One, two, squat. Okay, one, two, and squat. So the hybrid move, low jumping jack into a squat. So one, two, squat it out. One, two, squat it out. One, two, sit into a squat. One, two, good. One move left after this. I hope you've had fun. I've really enjoyed this workout. Some days you're really on form and other days I just find I'm a little bit sluggish. Good. Sit back. One, two, and back. Come on, 10 seconds, 10 little seconds left. You can do it. I know you can. I have faith in you. That's it. Come on, one, two, and finish your squat. Okay. Now we have this really fun move at the end. I don't know why I don't do it more often. It's the footballer's run, I think it's called, or just fast feet. Okay, so join in when you hear the beep. That's it, come on, fast on your feet. Now, if you find that that's too much jarring on your joints, just you step it across, okay? You can bend your knees a little bit more if you want to get more quads, okay? But if you're okay with these light little hops, you can even punch it out. That's it, come on, last move. Give me all you've got. Punch, punch, punch. Step it out now if you find this is too much for your body. Just there now, 15 seconds. Punch, come on, you can do it. Keep your head up. Last 10 seconds. Ooh, it's getting the heart rate up for me. Good work, come on, you're just there. Big clap to you, big thumbs up, double thumbs up. Well done, well done, that was brilliant. Good work. Okay, Ooh, now let's bring the heart rate down a little bit. You'll probably find it's up a little bit more than usual if you're working out in higher temperatures. I know myself, I like to do my workouts in the morning 
if it gets very very hot or in the shade if you're working outdoors that is sometimes i like to take my workouts outside in the summer months because you're cooped up in, indoors so much in the winter so if you do that go into the shade or do them early in the morning all right if you're working indoors uh, it's still gonna be very humid even indoors so i just like doing mine in the morning anyway it's just me i'm very much a morning person okay i get tired as the day goes on all right let's go on the train here the choo-choo train just bringing that heart rate down that's it good make those arms slower make those legs slower and smaller good work now let's stretch out the calves i always like to stretch out calves after i work out okay because they do the if you're on your feet all day they they do tend to work really hard so it's nice to be kind to them and stretch them out so that's it push forward now i'm going to reach up to the ceiling don't arch your back here now um, i'm actually going to not interlace my fingers as you saw me doing there i'm going to let go i prefer to grasp that wrist i find i get more range of movement when i do that don't forget your calf push your body forward a little bit more push your heel into the ground your back heel that is and then slightly to the side but don't uh, hurt your back okay try if you feel any irritation in your back come back to the middle and just reach up to the ceiling change sides that's it push forward in space what are those toes doing the facing forward 12 o'clock position now grasp the opposite wrist and if it doesn't irritate your back bend slightly to the side don't forget your calf though multitasking with stretching you have to be tuned in back to the middle if you feel your back is straining too much reach up to the ceiling good work come on out of that let's stretch out those inner thighs now, if you have issues with your back, keep your spine, spine straight like I am here and keep upright. Look at me. Look forward. That's it. Good. Relax into that stretch. That was a good move we did today there with the side lunges, knee raise and shoulder press. That was a really good full body move. If you managed it, well done. If you didn't, just keep practicing. Practice some. If some of these moves kind of you feel are beyond you to practice them in your own time when you're not in a rush or you're not trying to follow a workout I've just gone over to the other side again and back to the other side and you'll find in time that you will improve okay the body is very responsive to any stimulus placed upon it okay up we go and I'm just going to reach for my toe if this is too much stress for your back try maybe even reaching for your knee all right if you still don't like that feeling come on up and um, you can just reach side to side you'll have to close your legs though a little bit for that one okay i'll do it now in a second and reach up and over and reach and up. good you're feeling those hamstrings getting a good stretch good now, just for anyone who couldn't do that, here's a good one for you to stretch out your trunk. And across, and across. Reach across, good. Now really come back to the middle. Now guys, I know this warm-up is short, but if you want a full length cool down, I'll leave a description in, sorry, a link in the description box below this video. And there's a full 30 minute warm-up there for you. Lots of variety in it for you. Okay, thank you for joining me today. Make sure you keep yourself hydrated, particularly in this heat, and I will see you back here really, really soon. Bye-bye.